Hi, welcome to Drawing Club. Today we're drawing bubble letters, G, H, I, J, K, and L. So here are our next set of bubble letters. And to make them, you will need a pencil and maybe an eraser to erase any mistakes and a pencil sharpener and a black pencil crayon or a black marker to outline with. And you might want some color pencils or some color markers to color them with at the end. But as usual, I'm going to use this gray marker just so you guys can see what I'm doing. So if you did the A, B, C, D, E, and F um, bubble letters, you probably remember how to do this. Um, but if not, I'm going to uh, show you again. So the um, first thing I'm going to do is just draw the regular uppercase letters. So I'm going to make a G, a regular uppercase G. just like this, and then a regular uppercase H, and a regular uppercase I, and a regular uppercase J, and a regular uppercase K, and a regular uppercase L. And we're gonna use those letters to turn them into the bubble letters. So to do that, we basically need to draw kind of uh, balloony sausage shapes around parts of the letter. So I'm gonna start with the cross part of the G and just make a kind of a balloony bubble around that. And then I'm going to start I'm keeping this line kind of in the middle if I can. I'm going to just make a thicker balloony kind of um, shape around it. So here we go. Tracing back around to there. And then the H is going to be a little bit easier because I just have to make uh, three of those balloons going around each line. I find the straight line uppercase letters a little bit easier to make than the ones that have the curve in them. So these kind of letters, these bubble letters became popular when I was in um, primary school and elementary school. I think they used to, um, they looked a little bit like the letters that um, hip hop artists used to use um, on their albums, or sometimes you would see them um, on, on the walls in these big murals. And uh, so I actually used to spend a lot of time when I was, you know, maybe six or seven or eight years old, um, making these letters in my school books and other places like that, writing my name out in them and things like that. Um, okay. So that's that. Uh, the J is going to be the same. We're just going to, I think I'll start down here and just trace around the shape, but just making it thicker. Just like that. And then the K is going to be a little more like the H. We're just going to go around each straight line with a nice big bubble shape around this one. And around this one. And when we trace over this in our, that's not really <laughs> perfect, but that's okay. I'm just gonna make that a little more rounded there. Okay. When we trace over this with our black marker, we won't trace over all of these lines and that, that's what'll give it that kind of bubbly look. And our L. Just like that. And like this. Okay. And, oh, I think there were little kind of, you know what, I'm going to do that with my black marker. Instead of using that, uh, those little shining marks, we'll just put them in with our black marker. I think it'll be easier. Okay. 
So we'll go back to our G and this is where I'm going to be a little more careful about where I um, trace. I don't want to trace over every single line because um, some of these lines I would want to erase um, if they were in pencil. And you can definitely erase them if they're in pencil. So I'm just going to trace around the bubbles just like this. So you might remember that when we did A, B, C, D, E, and F last time, we talked a little bit about the sounds they make and the keywords that we, we use to remind ourselves of the sounds that they make. And so this set, of course, also has some keywords and it has sounds. So you might remember that the sound, or the, sorry, the key, ooh, that's a bit lumpy, that's okay. <laughs> There we go. Um, for G, our keyword was games. So G, games, and the sound is G. G, games, G. Let's put the little light shining on there too. So there's our G, games, G. Next we have H. And you might remember from class, or if you haven't gone to my school, uh, this might be new for you, but the key word we use for H is hat. H, hat, h. And that helps us to remember the sound that an H makes. H, hat, h. It's also okay to call that letter H, which we do in Ireland. And some people here on Prince Edward Island do as well. So you can call it either H or H. But the sound is always there we go, and a couple of little shiny kind of marks, like as though these were made of balloon and there was some light shining on it. I. The key word we use for I is itch. So we say I, itch, i. There we go. It's one of the easier shapes to make. I, itch, i. And next we have J. And the key word we use for J is jug. So J, jug, j. There we go. J, jug, j. You can see sometimes I don't always follow exactly the lines I made with my pencil if I think I can make it look a bit straighter or better um, when I go over it with my black marker. I might make little changes like that. Sometimes though I have to, I want to try to follow my line exactly and sometimes I'll change it. Okay, here's, this is one where I'm going to have to be a little careful and think about which parts are going to be in front of which other parts. So I know that this part will be fine to just trace exactly. Bring it up to there. And bring it down to there. But then for the next part, I'm gonna bring it like that. And then Like that. And we'll put a few little light bubbles on there too. Okay. And last is our oh did I even I didn't even say what our K K was. We have K, our keyword is kite, and the sound is k. So K kite k. And that's the same sound that we looked at when we did C cat k with our first set of letters. So they we have two letters that make exactly the same sound. K and C. They both make the K sound. And we have our L. And our keyword for L is lamp. So we have L, lamp, L. There we go. And 
there we go. Those are our uh, next set of bubble letters. So I'll bring back my color version. And we have G Games G, and I gave it a purple. And this is called a gradation, where you start darker with the color, and then you go lighter and lighter with your pencil or your marker until it becomes almost white. So we've got our G Games G. I gave blue for H hat. We have, uh, I did yellow for I, for I itch I. For J, I did green. So J jug J. And for our K, I did orange for K kite K. And for L, I did purple for my L, for my L lamp L. Okay, thanks for coming again. And next week on Tuesday, we'll do the next set of bubble letters. See you then.